Konnichiwa everyone, it's Dan from Jadan.co.uk and today is the first annual Combini Olympics, yay! Oh. Cheers for finding me video everyone, I appreciate that. So today is the first ever inaugural, I think inaugural is the right word, inaugural Combini Olympics. So in Japan, there's three main convenience stores. 7-Eleven. Mm. 7-Eleven. Rawson. Lawson. And Family Mart. And Family Mart. So they're the big three players. First event in the Combini Olympics, I think it's going to be Onigiri, right? Let's start with 7-Eleven. Show the camera what we're going to be using. This is a tuna mayo onigiri. I have a chicken pig here, but it's not chicken, it's tuna. I don't know why I have a chicken here. Because it uses eggs for mayonnaise. I'm fucking smart. Fucking smart. Oh, that's interesting. Are you open the convenience store on your guinea? First, step one, that thing. Step two, take that side off. Step three, this side off, and you're ready to go. Okay, so the first event. A onigiri marathon. Mm. Take it away. Oh, that was saku saku. Mm. Crispy. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. That's a good one. That one, very crispy. The, the nori, the seaweed, really crispy. The rice is nice. And have a lot of tuna mayo inside. And there's a lot of tuna mayo inside and the mayo is really good in that one. Mm. So that's that's a good effort, I think. That's a really good effort. Mm. Next, we've got this one. This one, once again, tuna mayonnaise. But this one is from Lawson. So let's see what Lawson's going to do. Itadakimasu. Oh, crispy, but where's my tuna mayo? I don't know, salty. I think the Lawson one is definitely saltier. Mm. Um, the nut is still crispy, but the like mayonnaise and tuna, there's not enough. Mm. So, this is a bit disappointing. Now there's just one more. The Family Mart. Say no. And they're off. That one didn't sound so crispy. The Family Mart one wasn't so saku saku. Mm. It wasn't so crispy. So that was okay. There wasn't so much tuna mayonnaise again. 7 Eleven definitely dominated that category. But it wasn't bad. I think it was decent all round. Mm. So Lawson, Family Mart, 7 Eleven. Look at the difference. Let's do bronze medal first. Who gets bronze medal? Bronze medal, I think Family Mart. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Family Mart is probably the bronze medal. Mm. Close, but defo bronze medal award. Um, second, silver medal. Lawson. Lawson. Lawson with silver medal. It's and cool. undisputed champion, the Onigiri, with world record is 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven. Congratulations to 7-Eleven. We had tuna mayo on a giddy. We had a picture of chicken on it, it's grand champion. Next up, probably, this is basically 100 meters, the one that everyone's excited for. Mm. It's fried chicken, it's important. So every combini has fried chicken in a little counter up front. And it's a contentious thing that everybody likes a different one for different reasons. So, let's start. I think the most famous one is Fanny Chicky. Yeah. Everyone knows Fanny Chicky. And it looks like this. It's got its little bag. It says, I am chicken on it. It's Fanny Chicky. And the way you open these things is pretty cool. It looks like you just take this bit off, but no, you like open it like this. Uh, and then you've got a little bag to hold it in. So there you go, look, you can see a bit of fried chicken, it looks crispy enough, pretty thick. Mm. 
Mm. Chicken, reasonably good quality. It's <coughs> pretty greasy apparently. Mm. A little greasy. That's a problem with Family Mart. The chicken's good, but it's greasy. Mm. That might be a positive point for some people. Next up, what we got? Lawson one. Lawson. Oh, they gave me umakara. Ooh. This is a spicier one. As you can see, it's a bit redder. Mm. Mmm, that's good. It's thick, with a lot of chicken, not so greasy, spicy. Spicy, but it's a good spice. It's not like terribly spicy, but it's pretty good. And the chicken's better. Mmm, the chicken is good quality there. Yeah. And last, but not least, we've got Nana Chiki from 7-Eleven. The bag is not as good as other two, I don't think. Mmm, it's not looking good out of the bag. Mm, I don't know, it looks, it looks very much like a poor man's family chicky to be honest with you. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's give her a go. Mm. No, that's not so good. The batter of the, the skin is a little soft, not crispy. I think the chicken is not... I don't think it's so fresh that one. Yeah. I'm not impressed with that at all, if I'm honest. This is going to be kind of tough. I think bronze medal is obvious. 7-Eleven. See me in the class. Try harder. <laughs> um, I think we're going to have a difference of opinion here. Lousel. Silver medal? Mm. Silver medal? No, silver medal no. Silver medal family. You think family chicken's got a silver medal? Yeah. Because I think... Yeah, I think so too. Like... Family chicken is awesome, but regular family chicken, regular family chicken even, is not so amazing. It's all right, but they do other ones like spicy chicken and stuff, which are better. So that means gold medal, if Heidi Chan don't eat it all, is El Chiki. So El Chiki gets a gold medal with a world record effort. After you've had a bit of chicken, you get a bit, a bit thirsty. Spicy. A bit thirsty. <laughs> so, what we've got here is some cafe rate or cafe ore in this case from each one. So, let's start with 7 Eleven, show them what we've got. Here's the competitor from 7 Eleven, as you can see, cafe latte. They're all very much much of a muchness, I think. So, let's get them ready for the, the cafe latte diving competition. This one can be. Say, no. Oh, we're in. It's a seamless entry. Pretty good. <laughs> mm. I mean, I don't really drink coffee that much, so this doesn't really matter to me at all. But That's actually really, really fucking nice. <laughs> oh. Very creamy. Mm. Mm, very sweet, very creamy. Yeah, that's very, very, very good effort. Next up, we've got the Uchi Cafe, which is Lawson's version. They didn't have cafe latte, so I got cafe ore. And to be honest, I don't know the difference between the two. I think cafe latte and cafe ore are basically the same thing. It looks good on packaging. They've gone to town with packaging compared to see through a 7 Eleven. But there you go. I can't tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Basically tastes the same to me. I don't know. I'm not a connoisseur. Mm, but Let's overall, see. pretty good, I think. Um, last but not least, we've got the Family Mart collection. Cafe Rate. They've got a picture on it. So they made an effort, at least. Uh, take the straw out. Say no. Oh, that felt good. Mm. Mm. That's definitely got more of a coffee taste yeah. to me. That one definitely tastes, the aftertaste is much more coffee, so it's not as sweet as the other two. It's 
good though. Definitely drinkable. I think this is gonna be artist event. They've all put in a good effort. Mm. So I, I don't really know, to be honest with you. Bronze medal, I think is Lawson. Yeah. It's not as sweet and creamy as 7-Eleven and it's not as coffee tasting as Family Mart. I mean, fair enough, it is cafe ole, so maybe it's different, but it's basically the same. Yeah. I think that's bronze medal. You've had an effort, you're packaging what best one, but thing inside weren't that good, so. Silver medal time. I think Family Mart. You think so? Yeah. It's a silver medal for Family Mart. So that means a gold medal for a second time today. 7-Eleven with gold medal. Congratulations. In freestyle cafe latte event. After you've had your onigiri and you've had some chicken and you've washed it down with some cafe latte, you're gonna need something sweet, a dessert. So we've got the dessert relay. <laughs> Why do you look so sad? I don't want to eat this one. Why? Because I know how they make this. So? So, let's start with the one that you don't want to eat. <laughs> so, show the people this one. This in Japan, this kind of donut is called an old fashioned. And it's half chocolate and it's half like donut. So, take it away. Mm, I think it looks pretty good. Here we go. It's a bit heavier than I expected. Like, with being a donut, you think it's going to be quite light, but that was quite heavy. Mm. Uh, the chocolate tasted good. But the chocolate don't have a good quality, I think. Mm, they were alright, they weren't so bad. Next up, let's do the Family Mob Cafe and Sweets. So, this is next. So, it's packaging. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, there you go, look. I'm definitely softer. Fall into bits. Oh my word. So, that's not a strong start. Basically, it's dropped back on. It's a bit soft. I'm not a fan. Too chocolatey. It doesn't feel like it's been mixed properly. It doesn't feel like it's been cooked properly. It felt a bit. It's a poor showing. Anyway, last one. So, this one is Lawson, and they didn't have an old fashioned style one. So, this is what they call like pondering. And it's milk chocolate flavor. And pondering is a bit different. It's like a mochi texture. It's not mochi, but like the ball is like a little chewy. As you can see, it's like lots of little balls in a row dipped in chocolate. This kind of looks good. Pondering in general, like if I go to the Mizdo, mm. pondering is the one. I, I'm mad for a pondering. But this one is a little too soft. Yeah. Like it's supposed to be chewy, but it's not supposed to be that soft. I think we're alright. And chocolate's a bit weak on top. It's just like a thin layer of chocolate where other ones got like a thick mm. coating. So, but it weren't bad. It weren't bad at all. Bronze medal. For me, this one all day. Family Mart. For me, this one. Jankin? Sai show Yatta! Bronze medal goes to Family Mart. Terrible. Poor effort. <laughs> that means I'll let you have silver for that. That means the one that neither of us really oh liked God. gets a gold medal. <laughs> congratulations, Lawson. Even though you are mediocre, congratulations. So yeah, that basically concludes the Olympics. Third place. Bronze medal, try harder next time. Family Mart, nice effort, not good enough. <laughs> so, these two are very close. Let me double check, let's ask the judges. Gold, silver. Gold. Silver. Silver. Gold, bronze. Gold, bronze, no, they're the same. Oh God. They're the same. But I think the chicken, the fun, the 7-Eleven chicken is terrible. I think it's, it's so bad that... It's the only thing like we don't will finish to it. Yeah. Okay. 
I think it's been decided. The first ever Combini Olympics gold medalist is Lawson. <laughs> Congratulations, Lawson. Um, it doesn't help that you're closest one to where we live and we've got point cards, to be honest with you. <laughs> so, today's question. What's your favourite convenience store? Let's start an argument. Comment section below. Let a bro and a bird know. <laughs> Cheers for watching the video. As always, until next time. Jamata.